Okay, so uh, Mr. Gowdy, this crowd likes you a lot. I must have five or six questions up here. Actually, they don't. They probably don't like you because they want to know if you'd ever consider being the Attorney General of the United States. Uh, I, I, have, I have the same wife I did when uh, Ron DeSantis asked that question. I cannot afford the alimony and child support any more than I could then. I want us to have a really good attorney general. I, I, uh, I, I, view, that, I view that job as a non-political position. Um, and when I was a district attorney, uh, I dealt with a lot of crime victims and a lot of police officers. I never once asked their political ideation. I never once ask a victim of crime, are you a Republican or Democrat? And no crime victim ever cared what my politics were. That is the one job where you literally work for a blindfolded woman and you are a slave to the law. And, and I, 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 I know people get tired of hearing this. The gentleman who said the prayer this morning, when he said that he was from Great Britain, first thing I thought of is the oath that new citizens take makes a half dozen references to the law. Why? Why is the law so important to us? Does the law in the villages require the richest person here to draw the same speed limit as the poorest, or do they all have different speed limits? <laughs> Is the greatest unifying force we have in our culture. It is the greatest equalizing force that we have in our culture. It is what gives the poorest, most disenfranchised person access to a court. And when you start playing games with that, and you start picking and choosing which rules you want to enforce and which ones you don't, and Ronnie and I are on judiciary, and we have some of these, these kids come, and their stories are sympathetic. This is the only country they have ever known. So when they hear somebody say, you got to go back to your own country, their question to me is, where do you want me to go? I was brought here when I was six months old. I, I, am, I, I, I get that. I, I get that. I have talked to the kids, but this is what I would tell them. There's a right way to do it. There's a wrong way to do it. And the same ones of you who are calling out for an exception to the law today will be crying out for the application of the law tomorrow. And once you start eroding Once you start eroding the foundation of the law, and you start picking which ones we really need and which ones we don't need. Ron mentioned the Affordable Care Act, which has a start date of October. Well, the president just blew through that stop sign. Just blew through it. So if you can blow through that stop sign, you tell me which laws we're really serious about. So I want an AG that is going to be independent, that's going to be able to look even his or her boss in the eyes and say, I would rather resign my job than do what you are asking me to do. I want that level.